On this episode, we'll talk about aspirin after your sleeve. We'll also talk about mood swings after your sleeve, and we'll talk about taking appetite suppressants. I'm Dr. Alvarez from endobariatric.com and welcome to episode 55 of the Ask Dr. A show. And I want to thank absolutely everybody that has been sending me snaps and saying hello and dropping me a line. If you haven't done so, download the application Snapchat on your phone for Apple or Android. And you can always link my phone to your phone by adding my username that we'll place here on the screen. Also, thank you so much for submitting questions using hashtag AskDrA on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. All right, so let's get into the show. I haven't take my meds since before surgery. Should I go back on it at some point? All right, so uh, aspirin. Uh, aspirin belongs, let's remind ourselves, aspirin belongs to a, a category called non-steroid anti-inflammatories, NSAIDs, all right? We've talked about this before. You can uh, use your uh, YouTube browser uh, search bar so you can learn more information on this. These medications are very rough on the stomach. They make the stomach um, bleed, they make the stomach, they create ulcers, they're very rough on the stomach. So on that, we're talking about regular stomachs now. Now let's talk about an operated stomach, a gastric bypass patient, a sleeve patient, of course, uh, rougher, all right? So we need to avoid these medications. You need to talk to your doctor, talk to your, to your surgeon about taking these medications. Now let's say your doctor, your cardiologist, insist that you take uh, aspirin. You can, no sooner than 21 days, but I wouldn't take the 500 milligram per day, nor the 321 per day. I would take the 81 milligram per day and make sure uh, you're taking an acid blocker morning and evening or something to protect your stomach while you're taking this medication, all right? So check with your doctor, check with your cardiologist. You can, but no sooner than 21 days at a very low dose. I'm having terrible mood swing. Is this normal? All right, so mood swings are normal. Yeah, they're not that frequent, uh, but uh, sometimes it has to do with the amount of calories you're intaking. Make sure you're intaking quite a bit, uh, or you're logging in your calories as we talked previously, and uh, you're getting enough calories per day, at least six to 800 per day, and enough carbs, and you check your medications too, doses of medications if you're taking medications. So other than that, temporary, your body, remember, is going through a lot of adjustments. Temporary, it'll go, it'll go away, it'll just pass. Can I take appetite suppressant? All right, so taking appetite suppressants, this is a very common question. So I, now I had my sleeve, I'm a few months out, and I want to like really crush it, and I want to take appetite suppressants because you know what, I'm, t I'm getting these, these cravings in my mind, and I get these uh, cravings and, and, and anxiety for junk food. People, remember that you did this procedure to change your lifestyle, make wise decisions. Don't fill up your sleeve with junk food, all right? You got a craving, fill it up with, uh, with a, a fruit, banana, pear, grape, I mean, something. You can get a wise decision, make a wise decision, fill up your sleeve with a wise decision instead of, instead of filling up your sleeve with junk food that's good for nothing. And, uh, and, uh, and that way you're gonna be feel, feeling satisfied and the craving's gone, all right? Because why would you go through this procedure, put yourself under this procedure, life chi li life, lifestyle changing procedure, when down the road you wanna keep doing the same habits? If you want to take appetite suppressants, can you? The answer is yes. It won't cause anything to your sleeve. I wouldn't recommend it, all right? Just try to make wiser decisions, help your sleeve, and you'll get the most out of it. So that's it for episode 55 of the Ask Dr. A Show. Question of the day. Did you, by any chance, did you by any chance go through any mood swings right after your sleeve? The answer, yes, no. I want to hear from you, all right? I'm Dr. Alvarez from endobariatric.com. We'll see you on the next episode.